and our this year winner of the Luke Howard Award, yeah, can I have some trumps? <laughs> is Jason Ching. I see a, sense a large amount of agreement here with the decision of the award committee. So, Jason, it's my great pleasure. Jason was generous, friendly, and energetic. He was an outstanding urban climate scientist and also a respectable mentor who has helped many young researchers connect with each other and with the urban climate research community. As one of these young researchers, I was so fortunate to receive guidance from him, not only on Woodout, but also on how to be a good urban climate researcher. I believe that my memories of Jason and his encouragement of young scholars are matched by a great many others in our community. His passing is a huge loss, but his foresight and plan for Woodout will last. The real-world impact of Woodout will ultimately far beyond community-based air quality, weather modeling, and will make a difference. I met Jason for the first time 23 years ago at the Urma Symposium in Davis. Since then, after every meeting I had with him, I felt more confident in the power of science and humanity. <clears throat> Jason also has always been a source of inspiration for me, both from the scientific and the human point of view. He made the fundamental contributions to shaping the field of the modern urban atmospheric science in the community of urban atmospheric scientists. I wish I could have always the same passion for the urban atmosphere that he had during his whole life. So all I can say is thank you. Thank you, Jason, for being you. Jason and I were hired into the newly formed Atmosphere Model Development Branch at EPA in the mid-1970s. We were in the branch for over 30 years as colleagues and friends. Jason's research centered on the analysis of meteorological, turbulence, and boundary layer data from major field programs designed to help develop and evaluate the evolving air quality models of the time. The Regional Air Pollution Study in St. Louis in the 1970s, the Regional Oxidant and Regional Acid Deposition Studies over the Eastern U.S. in the 1980s, as well as several large power plant plume studies, all leading to Jason's passion project, the creation of urban morphological databases necessary to understand and model airflow affecting air quality in urban areas. Jason was unrelenting in pursuing this mission, first in a few pilot studies in U.S. cities, then in creating a national urban database, and ultimately enlisting global partners to take this mission worldwide. Jason's enthusiasm was infectious and effective in achieving his goals. While his research and scholarly pursuits are impressive, what I will remember most about Jason is his humor his laughter, 
his can-do attitude, and his generous heart. I find it difficult to speak of Jason in the past tense. More than anything, he was optimistic, friendly, and generous. He was happy to give, and he was always looking for ways to contribute. But he had a special knack for getting others to contribute too, as anyone who has collaborated on Woodapt can testify. I was fortunate to spend some very happy evenings with him since we first met in Hong Kong at an urban climate workshop, and most recently over dinner in Sydney, where he shared his plans for the next phase of the project. His passing was a shock to me, as it was to all of us, and I will miss him dearly. I came to know Jason when I read his 2009 paper on National Urban Database and Access Portal Tool. As an architect and urban designer, I immediately recognized the importance of his work. I invited Jason to come to Hong Kong in 2012 so that we could learn more from him. At that time, we were doing Hong Kong's urban climate map. We make use of some of Jason's idea, putting together a map that urban planners could use. Jason always encouraged us to go a step further and think a bit bigger. His Woodard idea is a good example of his ventures. Jason, I'm sure your work will have a long-lasting impact to scholarship, and we will miss you greatly. It was a great sorrow to hear that Jason left us forever. He is one of the most kindest, generous, friendly researchers I have ever met, and he gave us a lot of constructive suggestions, comments, and uh, encouragement to young researchers, especially during our early career. And uh, Jason kindly agreed to write us a foreword for our LCC book. Uh, also in ICUC 11, Jason talked a lot with us on this book. He gave us a lot of constructive, enlightened writing suggestions for our LCC book. We really, really missed Jason quite a lot. <laughs>